Many companies, including OpenAI, Microsoft, and Samsung, are making significant strides in AI with their latest models and tools. Once, Apple was at the forefront of this innovation, but now it has slipped to the third position in the industry, trailing behind NVIDIA and Microsoft. As a chip-making giant, NVIDIA broke the $3 trillion valuation mark, overtaking Apple and becoming the second most valuable public company in the US. Microsoft achieved a historic milestone on Wednesday. The company crossed the $3 trillion market valuation threshold. This briefly overshadowed Apple. This historic surge is driven by unwavering investor optimism over artificial intelligence. Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference kicks off next week, so can investors expect to hear about AI plans? We think so. Now this shift has been a letdown for many Apple fans who expected the company to remain on top. But what's Apple's position in the AI race after WWDC 2024? And why aren't they focusing on AI like their competitors? Let's dive into this. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, has emphasized that Apple is spending a tremendous amount of time and effort on AI technologies. Despite this, many people feel disappointed, possibly because expectations for Apple are always sky high. However, there's good news. On June 10th, Apple announced Apple Intelligence for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Good morning. Welcome to Apple Park. We're glad you could join us for what promises to be an action-packed and memorable WWDC. This new feature will be integrated into iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS. This clever tool is designed to understand and adapt to your personal needs like never before. One cool thing about it is the system-wide writing tools, which help you write better across different apps like email, notes, and pages. You can even rewrite, proofread, and summarize text to match different tones and styles. So while it may seem like Apple is behind, don't underestimate them. Apple has also teamed up with OpenAI in a strategic partnership to boost their AI capabilities, especially in enhancing their chatbot features. However, it's interesting to see a giant like Apple partnering with a relatively new player like OpenAI. Elon Musk, known for his blunt opinions on AI and his ties with OpenAI, had mixed feelings about this partnership. He's clearly not thrilled with Apple's choice. Musk tweeted, It's patently absurd that Apple isn't smart enough to make their own AI, yet is somehow capable of ensuring that OpenAI will protect your security and privacy. Apple has no clue what's actually going on once they hand your data over to OpenAI. They're selling you down the river. Elon knows this collaboration has the potential to be a major success. It will be interesting to see what happens next. Well, Elon and Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, often butt heads on Twitter. If you're curious about the full story behind their rivalry, watch the video in the I button. But here the question is, why did Apple take so much time while their competitors did this a while ago? Well, Apple has always been vocal about prioritizing the safety and privacy of their users. They have taken their time to ensure that their AI technologies are secure and respect user data. So what about safety with the new collaboration with OpenAI? Apple is aiming to integrate OpenAI's advanced features without compromising the safety and security of user data. Well, this sounds great, but to be honest, it's a bit confusing. Furthermore, Apple is navigating China's regulatory landscape by potentially partnering with Baidu to improve search functionalities. This partnership would help Apple comply with local regulations and ensure its products, like the iPhone 16 and iOS 18, meet the standards set by the Chinese government. With these moves, Apple is making significant strides in AI, positioning itself to compete with giants like Google, Samsung, and Microsoft. Well, what do you think of Apple's AI plans? Will they stick to their safety standards? Share your thoughts and check out related videos to stay updated.